Hello everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and in this video I'm going to share with you a different way to create a thumbnail image um, in a square or to create a collage using uh, PhotoFuse and PicMonkey and in a free way. Not a free way, but doing it free. So I've chosen these two photos of these cufflinks. Um, this is one that I created before, so I'm going to show you another way. I did use this um, create this with the PicMonkey collage, but apparently now you have to have a paid version of PicMonkey, which I do have, but I wanted to show you a way to do it without that. So I signed out of PhotoFuse and PicMonkey so that I would have to go through the method without having a paid membership. So first I'm going to select to begin on PhotoFuse. I created a new account on PhotoFuse so I could start from the beginning. So when you start up, It'll ask you, you know, default album. You click the little plus and it's going to give you a little tutorial about what to do. And I'm going to select one of the photos I've already decided on. It's giving me the little walkthrough. Yes, yes, we know. Okay, so I'm going to select my cufflinks and it's going to highlight all around them. I want some of the whiteness around it to show up because it'll look better that way. All right, so it's going to be like that. And my friend Carly has a really good video about using PhotoFuse. Her channel is The Poetry of Nice, so definitely a shout out to Miss Carly over there. So this one's coming, so I'm going to select the other one while that's saving. Upload the second one. I haven't edited these photos yet to brighten them up, but I'll do that after the fact, so that's okay. I will be brightening them up a little bit. Um, so these were taken just in my photo box on my... Uh, I'll insert a picture. I've shown it before. So here I've got my two images. I'm going to batch download and I'm going to take these and put them over on my desktop so I can find them. Okay, so I'm done now with photo views. I signed out of PicMonkey because I wanted to see what it looks like without a membership. So I'm going to click on collage, but I was told that you had to have a membership now to use the collage. Mm, I don't know, here it is. I'm not logged in. Let me just see real quick. If I add images, if it's going to let me do it. Hmm, that's strange because it's so far so good. Let's see what it does. All right, so there's that. Let me export it. Oh, you have to sign up. Okay, sign up with email. Well, that's interesting. It let me save it. Maybe it's got me on the free trial. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do it the other way just in case because if you're not on the free trial or if for whatever reason it's not letting you create a collage, then you'll have another way. And I'm going to select design and it pops up a square, which is exactly what I need. So I'm going to drop in some photos from my own computer. These are the ones that I want. You have to do one at a time. So there's this one. I can bring it up here. I can add my own again from my computer down here. Now, here's the problem. It, it's a white background, but it's not a clear background. There is a way to do that in another program if you want to knock it out, um, but you, if you don't, then here's what you'll do. See, I've got these two images. They're layered. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this one on the bottom to the back. So I am right clicking and it says send to back. So I'm sending to back, which will pop this one up front. Now what I'm going to do, make sure I have this top one selected is all this white area, I'm going to erase it away. So on this overlay, you'll come over, one side says basic, the other side says eraser. Then you want the, uh, to select the eraser, make the eraser size, you know, big or hard or whatever. That sounded bad. And then come through and just start erasing. So I'm erasing all of this white part off of the bottom of this picture. Now, if you have an oopsie and you're like, whoops, I accidentally erased part of my uh, image. It's cool. There's two ways to fix it. You can go back, you know, I click back. Or another way to do it is there's this little paintbrush. You can come back in and repaint things on. Like, oh, I need to save this. Okay, now I painted it back together. So now, um, I've got my two images and I just want to scoochy things around. Maybe I want to make them bigger and like that. I could always bring them in and make them brighter and things like that as well, which I probably would do, but you can move them around, make them bigger, smaller, add them. I don't know. So let me make it a little bit bigger, but this was done without using the collage feature on PicMonkey. So there, so now it looks like I've got a collage. I didn't actually use the collage feature. 
So let me export this. Okay, and now I have got a collage. Let me open it up because I saved it as could for whatever reason. I've got this collage made from these pictures uh, without having to pay for the premium on PicMonkey. I do recommend it. I use it all the time, but I design on merch and I use PicMonkey and I edit pictures in here all the time. So if you are able to pay for it and write it off as a tax or you know business expense, I would suggest it. But that is how you would create a collage without using the collage feature for PicMonkey. Ta-da!